Welcome to Port Welshpool, the only deep water port on Victoria's eastern coast. Today we're going to be jumping on one of our Maclay fishing boats, heading off to Refuge Cove and spending a day over there. Located two and a half hour drive and about 200 kilometres from Melbourne, this boat journey makes a perfect addition into your southeast coast road trip. When speaking about the South Gippsland area, many people think of Wilson's Prom and its popular tourist destination, the Tidal River, but not many people know about the other gorgeous places here you can visit. And what better way to explore this gorgeous coastline than by boat? We'll be hugging the shores of the mountainous eastern side of the Prom to get to our spectacular destination, Refuge Cove. Today we're on a 2019 Maclay crossover fishing boat. These boats were designed in New Zealand with the real fishing enthusiast in mind. So if they can live in New Zealand, they're going to be just fine on the water over here. Now I know I don't come across as your typical boaty, but I have all the prerequisites, legs and some seasickness tablets. Popular to the area and a great catch, and I'm not talking about me, there are plenty of fish out here to snap up for dinner. Squids, mackerel, whiting, you name it, you can find it here. So here we are at the beautiful and stunning Refuge Cove. And just as the name suggests, boats actually come here to dock when the weather gets a bit rougher, just like they did a century ago. For boating newbies like me, this view holds for a pretty convincing case to venture out here. Don't own a boat or know anyone with one? Refuge Cove cruisers offer full day tours of the area. And if you're into your bushwalking, Parks Victoria offer overnight stays up at the Refuge Cove campground for a small booking fee. This stunning and secluded beach looks like something out of a Thai travel magazine. Over summer, Refuge Cove is a really popular destination for boaties keen to get away for a few days. If you're coming up here in the colder months, make sure you rug up. Wear some grippy shoes to make sure you're not going in for a surprise dip. The beautiful clear water holds a really strong case for a swim, but to avoid the hypothermia and seeing as I'm out of sick days, I might sit this one out. After a picnic lunch, it's time to head back to our starting point and enjoy the stunning sights around us. You might even be lucky enough to see some of the local wildlife. After about an hour and a half, we're back at the port and ready to jet on home. I would definitely recommend this trip to anyone venturing out this way. 